Hello, this is Jerry and I want to show you my telescope. This is the telescope, this is a Nexstar 5, made by Celestron. It's an older telescope. And it's, what I'm showing you here, this is the scope itself. And this is the base that it went on. It, uh, it mounted in there like this, okay? And uh, what happened is this base broke. There was something in the internal part of it that quit working on the inside here. So it stopped working right. And uh, the way it worked is you would uh, you'd pull out this little hand control thing. And I think everybody that has a Celestron knows about the hand control part. And once it gets flipped on, uh, it will uh, it will start bringing up information about the uh, scope there. Well, this scope would uh, see, you know, it would turn this way and it turn that way, and it's, this little part would go like this. It was great for finding things, but when I pressed the bottom button, this didn't work. I cleaned this and worked it, still nothing. So I finally took it to a, a place called uh, Photon Instrument in here in Mesa, Arizona. And the guy Warren, he knows about everything about telescopes. He looked at this and he said, "I'll, I'll work on it." He took it apart, went down into the guts of it, brought it out, called the manufacturer, and they said, "We don't make the part anymore." So it wasn't anything he could do. This this part was pretty much non-replaceable. There wasn't anything that could be replaced with it. So with that, what uh, what he did was he uh, he pointed over in his shop to this, this item here, this, uh, what you're seeing here, this tripod. And uh, he said, you know, I can sell this and I'll mount that, that scope on this. And he pointed out some of the details. It has this GPS on it. I said, oh, that's nice. And of course it has the hand controller that is almost exactly like the other one, the typical Celestron hand controller. And you see here this, uh, this base. And I said, okay, so what is that going to do? And, and you'll notice that, you know, if I turn it on, right, uh, it does the same thing, you know, and all the buttons work, right? And you can see I push this button, and this thing moves up and down. And I said, great. Uh, rather than buying a, uh, uh, buying a uh, tripod and a, base, I'll just say, well, can you put the scope on it? And he said, yes, he could. And I said, great. So what he did, he took this scope off, this beautiful five-inch scope, okay, off of the other one. And he said, you can just mount it on there. And he showed me how to do it, loosen this little job in there and kind of, kind of slay it in there like that. And get it carefully Tighten it up, make sure that it's not going anywhere. This thing get it right. There we go. Okay, so now it's in there good and tight, not going anywhere. And I go, all right. And when I first did this, I, I kind of sat back and I said, it works. It looks like it's actually going to work. Okay, then he said, I said, you will put a star finder on it. He said, of course. So I set up my little star finder here. Little job on there. And these star finders are great because you can kind of look right, right through there. And a little laser beam comes out here and shines up onto the, the glass there. And you can see a little dot when you look through it. It's really cool. So here's a, that helps you find things. And then it was just a matter of saying, okay, well, what do I want to do? It says, start alignment, and it says press enter. You press enter, and these little buttons up and down here, this is what, it, that, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little arrow pointing up and down, and it's not referring to these buttons, it's referring to these two buttons. And you choose your method of alignment I'm going to pick uh, one star align. Okay, and I think I hit enter there. And it says location. Well, with this setup, because it's got a GPS, I don't have to uh, do much. I just say 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's about 12 minutes after two in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll just sit in there. Okay, and kind of says, are you happy with your GPS location? Oh yeah, you know, it's picked it up for me. And so uh, I hit, I think I hit the align button, and it'll tell me if I the star align. Okay, well, it's. I think I already hit a line, so it it believes that it knows where it's at. And uh, the only other thing was uh, you kind of got to move this around. Well, it's not going to go right now, but uh, you move this around, and this thing turns. Oh, I have to do this again. Uh, you have to. It'll turn and find a, a um, find whatever it is that you were looking for, right? So if I said, I want to find Polaris, okay, so I start moving this thing around, north, by the way, is that direction, <laughs> so, um, so see, it'll, it'll turn, uh, and I wait, I wait, and uh, I want to start bringing it up, so I can hit two buttons at once here, okay, so, this is cool. So the Polaris is about there, and even though we're indoors, this be about right about there. And then I look through the star finder, make some adjustments, and here I press rate seven, and it'll slow way down. It won't move so fast. And I can put rate five, and it really slows down. And so I get an exact alignment, and when I finally get where I want it to go, well, I'm actually done. I just put that on the side. And then I take the caps off here, <laughs> like that. This is, of course, assuming I'd be outside, but I'm inside. And I use this as really great to look through, get that thing put on there so I can see it. And I start with my magnifying. And if you can see, that's just just the big old lens there, sticking in there. And when I look through it, uh, I see actually the ceiling. And then I start adjusting the focus knob, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then finally it comes into focus. So that's my telescope, right? And I thought it was really neat that it was all fixed up and did. I, I think the entire cost was about 300 and it was a little under $400 for this setup and this thing and stuff. And I kept the scope. And now I have uh, a tripod and a mount of something I don't know what to do for. It does sort of work. Uh, I can disassemble it and fix it up so it does nothing more than simply turns, but it won't have any um, it won't have any data to go find stuff in, but it, it is kind of neat, it does work, and maybe use it for terrestrial stuff, so if I wanted to, to look for stuff like a mountain or down on the city or stuff. That's my telescope.